It is fight week, people. Terrence Crawford, David Avenisian in Nebraska this Saturday, December 10th. It's going down. Terrence Crawford defends his WBO championship welterweight title. Uh, not the fight that we wanted, but not a bad fight. Just not the fight that people were looking forward to. I look at it like this. Terrence Crawford, I think, is the longest reigning champion in boxing. When you look at him, he was undisputed at 140. I think he's been a champion at 140 since, what, like 2014? Let me check that up. And obviously, he's uh, been the welterweight champion at, for the WBO since he beat Jeff Horn in 2018. So Terrence Crawford has been a world champion in boxing since... Yeah, every single fight since uh, 2014, since March 1st, 2014. So that, that's pretty crazy. You know, he's held some world title all this time. Uh, went right up to 140 and, uh, you know, got the uh, light welterweight title versus Delorme. Then he beat uh, Postal and then he beat Ndongo for two titles. Point is that... Terrence Crawford, in my opinion, is the number one best fighter in the world, pound for pound, from a talent standpoint. I know his resume leaves some things to be desired, and I think a lot of that's because of the politics of boxing. But he's fighting David Avenisian, a guy who's not so well-known in America, but has had uh, some good wins, You know, most notably knocking out uh, Josh Kelly, who just won last week, actually. And he was a big-time prospect for uh, you know boxing in, in the UK. He was a, a, a big deal over there. So... I think that this is a decent fight, but I think that Crawford is just on a different level and Terrence Crawford should be able to handle this fight. But the one interesting thing about this is Terrence Crawford, he always lives a lifestyle. He's always disciplined. He's in Colorado with, uh, you know, the team with Bo Mack and them and the whole extended squad. And they showed it on top rank years ago where they went through his training and it was a great piece. I'll put it in the link in the bio in the description. But he does, you know, these, you know, very serious workouts. He puts himself in the high altitude, goes up the mountains, really, really pushes himself, and he's always in shape. Never overlooks an opponent. But maybe this time he is overlooking an opponent because he has the Spence fight, hopefully, we hope, coming up next year if they could get an agreement. So maybe he's not as focused on Avenesian. And maybe, just maybe, him overlooking Avenesian makes this fight a whole lot more interesting because Avenesian is... A pretty big puncher from what I understand. And Crawford has been dropped by Kavlianskis in the past. And he can get hit. You know, he, he's a, a more of a reflex fighter. He's getting 35 years old. His uh, defense is more athletically based. It's not as much based off his, you know, technique. You know, not that it's bad, but it's not like, you know, uh, Floyd Mayweather or Pernell Whitaker or Shakur Stevenson type defense. But that makes the fight, I think, more interesting, you know, just than a, a, a standard Terrence Crawford, David Evanesian fight. If I had to guess, I'm going to say Terrence Crawford stops him. I'm going to go with a ninth round KO, maybe eight, eight or nine. I'm going to go with ninth round KO. Terrence Crawford stops him. I think he shows the difference in class. Let me know what you guys think. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And enjoy the rest of your week. Peace out.